guys can see it looks very dated child of god and then my little sheep ones blue one the blue silk one looks like It is Tuesday, June 11th. My name is Teresa. I'm the owner of a small business called Seasons Best by Risa. If you're new here, welcome. And if not, welcome back. Okay, besties. So I don't know why, but it feels like I haven't filmed like a studio vlog or a small business vlog in forever. Like where I'm just sitting down in my little nook and working. I've been doing like a lot of work off the cameras or uh, behind the scenes but i'm gonna start back you know getting back into the habit of filming while i'm working because <laughs> you know i don't know it, it gets kind of hard like my son he's like getting older and he's you know not napping as much so it does get kind of harder to film in the living room area since this is where he plays a lot but i'm gonna try to Put more effort into filming like what i'm doing um but yeah so what i'm doing is as you guys know i normally film early in the morning so it's 7 55 right now and i start work at nine so i have about an hour to do what i need to do before i start work and hopefully before my son wakes up so yeah um i'm just gonna let you guys know what we've got planned for today or for this week so as you guys know it is june 11th and i have my second pop-up june 15th that's gonna be saturday it is an outdoor pop-up however we don't need to like bring a tent because i paid to be under like a covered section so it's gonna be from three to seven but because of my last pop-up or like my last market i didn't really make a lot of sales i made five sales so i'm still pretty stocked up i really don't need to stock up for this event but i do have a few things to make so i have like a sticker order so i don't know i don't think i've told you guys but the last time i spoke to you guys about my etsy account I think it was a couple of months ago and I told you guys that I had like five sales on my Etsy account and you guys I've been getting like consistent sales on my Etsy account to the point where it's like now I'm at 25 sales on my Etsy account alone and for me that is huge because you guys know for the longest for months I wasn't getting any sales on Etsy so now I get like a consistent three three I want to say three or four sales a week on etsy so i'm happy about that so one of the items that sells a lot on etsy are my stickers so i actually have an order for a sticker behind me but i what i didn't have was i was getting a lot of sticker sales so i was having to like use the stickers that i have to bring to markets so i decided that i was just gonna make like five or six stickers to keep here and those are gonna be specifically for etsy since i was getting so many sales so i ended up making a few of them let me let me show you so these are some of the ones that i ended up making let me see if you guys can see this is how they look ah i have this one the child of god and then my little um sheep ones so i made and then my little shoe so i ended up making quite a bit of these and these are all gonna be kept here like um in my studio for etsy specifically so i'm not gonna bring these to the markets but there's two designs that i didn't get a chance to make um i can't remember which ones they were i think it was my you're so loved and another design that i didn't get a chance to make because you guys i literally have um two luckily cutting machines and i don't know you guys like they work when they want to work and they work when they don't want to work so first day it let me make two or three of the stickers three sets of the stickers and then that was it like it started cutting like the stickers really badly like cutting across them it just wasn't working so second day it let me cut like two more sets of stickers and i used like this one right here mostly but then i even went and i used this one back here and it was still like this one back here let me do one set perfectly and then the next set it just went like haywire 
So I decided to give it a break. So today I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get those two sets that I have left done so that no matter what someone orders on Etsy, I'll have them here ready to go. I won't have to worry about needing to cut them out. So we're going to try to get that done today. And also I went to Hobby Lobby's. Well, I did went to Hobby Lobby's, but also I went to Joann's. I want to say Sunday, me and my mom, we went to Joann's and we picked up a few different fabrics. So I don't necessarily need to make any more scrunchies or anything for the markets, but I'm trying to get away from like making a lot of pink items. I'm trying to get away from it. I know like a lot of the fabrics that I see and that are cute are pink. But I'm trying to not do as much pink. And then another thing that I noticed at the market was that most of the people that purchase scrunchies, they purchase the satin ones. So like none of my scrunchies that sold were cotton. All of them were satin. And I don't know, I don't love the fact that I have to stick with like a solid color. You know, because most of the satin that I find, they're like solid colors like purple, lilac red blue you know and i don't love the fact that i have to stick to that so i was like on a hunt for pattern and a satin and luckily i was able to find them in joann's because i went to hobby lobbies and couldn't find them i went to michael's they michael's didn't have anything that i liked so joann's i was able to find some really nice printed like satin fabric i think it's satin but it's like that satin material and they had so many of them it's just i only bought like two kinds just because they were so expensive they're like $17 per yard and it was only like a 25% off so I was like you know what let me let me just get two and I want to see how they sell at markets first before I like invest into getting more of those type of materials but they're so cute let me uh, let me just show you guys one second okay guys so I have them in my little Joanne's bag and so I got this fabric first this is the um satin one but i got this fabric first because i'm thinking of maybe making some bags i'm kind of like nervous about making bags like you know some tote bags i want to learn how to make them but it's kind of like i don't know like it's like a big project for me so i'm like a little nervous about it so i bought this to make bags but i feel like subconsciously i didn't want to make the bags i wasn't ready to make the bags because i only bought like um a what do you call it i, I only bought like a half a yard and like i should have known Teresa, a half a yard is not gonna make you a tote bag but i feel like subconsciously i really didn't want to make the tote bag yet just because like i'm so nervous to make it so instead what i did was i'm gonna use it to make some more bookmarks but these are gonna be different types of bookmarks so right here i have the fabric i went ahead and cut it out you guys can see from this side so i went ahead and cut them out so ah. With this one right here, if you guys can see, I what I'm gonna do is it's gonna actually be like the regular long like rectangular bookmarks. But I got like what is it called? Is it called like a pincher pinching shears? Pinching shears, you know the decorative scissors. I got some of those. I ordered it. It should be coming in today on Amazon. So I'm gonna like I have like some interfacing on the inside. And I'm gonna sew around it, look, do like a decorative stitch. And I really want to do like maybe like a zigzag stitch, but I can do just a straight stitch. But I'm thinking maybe trying to do like a zigzag stitch and seeing if I can do that, and do a zigzag stitch around and then like do a decorative cut on the sides. So I think that would look really good as a bookmark. And I wanted to have something like at the top, but I, I was thinking of doing like maybe an embroidered lace. You know those embroidered looking lace but my only thing is i don't know i don't know how well it will sew but now that i'm thinking about it you guys i probably should have bought it because if i do like a zigzag stitch i feel like that would hold the embroidered lace in there really well now that i'm talking to you guys i just i just thought about that but um i'm gonna see how i like it without the what do you call it the little tassel a little tag i'm gonna see how it looks first and then if i do think that i want that little embroidered lace i'll go ahead and i'll just order it on amazon and i'll just move forward and make them with that little embroidered lace at the end now i don't know if you guys remember but a while ago when i made like my 
square bookmarks you guys know my bookmarks the ones that go onto the edge of the pages i told you guys that i was thinking about making a heart one so i actually never got around to making it or to trying to make it um so i went ahead and cut out this fabric and i am going to attempt to make it sometime this week and see how it turns out so I'm always nervous whenever I'm trying something new when it comes to sewing, but it's got to be done, Teresa. You know, that's how you grow and that's how you progress. So those are what I have coming up in the way of like new projects that I want to test out this week and see if I'll be able to make. So yeah. Next, I just want to show you guys the fabric that I got for my scrunchie so that you guys can have a better idea of what I meant. So this is how it looks. Uh, let me see if I can give you a better look. So this is how it looks. And I feel like it's just so cute. And I feel like it will be so cute as a scrunchie. I think the design is small enough. Considering that my scrunchies, I use like a lot of material for my XL scrunchies. And I want to go bigger. <laughs> I want to go bigger, but you know, I just got to see how they sell first before I go bigger. But that's the blue one. I think that one was really pretty. And then I got this like, what do you call this? I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know what you call this, but I think you guys can see it better. It has like, let me see. There we go. It has like blue, pink, green. It's just like multicolored. And I just think it's so cute as a scrunchie. And I only bought like a half yard of these as well because um, a half yard can get me three of each scrunchie and again i want to see how they sell because i have like a ton of stock i really didn't even need to make any more scrunchies so i'm just going to be testing those out and if they sell pretty well then i'm going to go back and i'm going to get like they had a ton of different pattern and satins and i'm going to go back and get a ton i'm hoping that they will sell well so we're gonna have to see how the pop-up goes on saturday but all right you guys that's what i have planned this week right now today i'm gonna go ahead and try to see if my lock lip machines will let me make my stickers hopefully pray for me and we're gonna go from there based on what these machines decide they want to do okay guys so the first thing i'm gonna do is i need to make package my sticker order and she ordered the we are love sticker that's the sticker with the cherry so i actually just put them back up uh, where is it right here y'all i need to figure out like a better way of storing all of my stickers right now i like clump them all together i don't even know if that's the right word i group them all together and i feel like i want to separate them and have them like on show like really cute so i need to figure out how i'm gonna do that but this is the one that she ordered Let's see hopefully focused but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and package this up. And then also, you guys, I got like some new thank you cards on Amazon. And tell me why I got tricked, you guys. I don't know why. I just thought that I was just so lucky to have found these really cute thank you cards. But yeah, look at the thank you cards. You guys can see. So they are cute, but why are they so small? Like, oh my god, y'all, you guys know like my thank you cards are normally like the 4x6 or the 6x4s. And I thought that's what I was getting with this one. And I was just so excited to be getting some really, you know, what do you call them? I don't know, some really inexpensive thank you cards. And they're really tiny. But I'm going to use them for now. I really consider like sending them back but i really didn't have time to do that so i'm just gonna go ahead and use them for now and they're just gonna have to work i got a hundred of them and it's fine they're really inexpensive and they're still really cute they're just really small and i don't like that at all but we're gonna we're gonna work with it we're gonna work with it also you guys i went ahead and remade my sticker backings so i redid my sticker backings and then i also redid the backings for my freebies as well so this is one like i have i think i have four different designs for in total i have two different ones for the sticker backings and i have two different ones for the freebie backings so let me show you so this is how the sticker backings look. I have like a pink one and I have this white with blue and pink 
polka dots <laughs> want to say and i like both of them I, I couldn't decide like which one i wanted to do but i wanted to stick with all pink or the white so i said why not do both and i'll just pick a backing depending on my mood for that day so i don't know if you guys could see but i am trying to get away from doing so much pink pink is definitely going to always be a part of my business but i know that sometimes it could be like a little too much or a little overwhelming so i'm trying to see like if i could find like balance you know somewhere where i'm not doing too much pink but also where pink is still incorporated into the business so these are the the backings that i made or redid for the stickers and i'm going to show you the ones that i redid for the freebies as well so this is how the freebie backings look and it is white with like the little polka dots at the edge but it's the same it's almost the same concept as the stickers i also have some that's pink with the polka dot at the edge and the pink ones the polka dots are like all pink as well but i didn't print out any of the pink ones i totally forgot to print them out so right now all i have are like a bunch of the white backings but as soon as i get low i'm gonna print out some more of the pink backings for the freebies but these are the ones that i have right now i kind of got tired of my old sticker backings and i needed to revamp them so i don't know if you guys remember but i think i have one oh this is this is my old sticker backing you guys can see it looks very dated in my opinion and then this is my new sticker back in the pink one and this is the new sticker back in the white one so yeah so i went ahead and revamped it a little bit so yeah i think this has served its purpose so i've been working behind the scenes changing a few things trying to like expand the colors in my business the machine so I'm gonna go ahead and enter I don't know if you guys can see ah, the Sun but you guys saw earlier I'm gonna go ahead and enter in on my lock lake the lines that the machine cut through that overlaps so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so it says calibration was successful fingers crossed I'm gonna go ahead and um, print out I already have like a set of stickers on here so I'm gonna go ahead and print out my stickers and right now I'm using the what is this Joyza Joyza sticker paper I'm testing this out this is the matte version I'm testing out the matte version because I laminate it so I put like a lamination sheet on top so I'm testing this out right now and I actually really like it I mean I'm laminating it so it doesn't like matter but one of the reasons that I wanted to try it was because I heard that when you have this one that's matte, if you don't want to do it like laminate, if you just want to have it to be matte, when you rub it, like the color won't bleed or like it stays in there. So I had like really good things about it considering that sometimes I might want to do matte. I said, let me give it a try because if that's the case, then I could just have this sticker paper. And then if I want the sticker to be matte, I just won't laminate it. And if I want it to be like um, glossy, I'll just laminate it. So that's why I purchased this one. So I'm testing it out. Um, so far, it's been great. So let's see if I keep it. Right now, my sticker is printing out. It prints pretty slowly. I think I want to say it takes about five minutes to print. But that's because I do like quality best 
and then I do presentation matte for matte or if it's glossy I'll do like um, HP glossy I think but because of that it takes a while to print out so I have to wait for it to print and then it also takes a while to cut so I have to wait for it to cut so making like one set of stickers it does take some time you guys because I feel like a lot of people like don't understand why you sell a sticker for three or four dollars like the time that it takes and then the material because you know if this doesn't come out good I just wasted that sheet and I just wasted that laminated paper lamination paper and then I also just wasted the time so it's a lot but when it does work and when it does come out like it looks really really good because it cut it perfectly you guys it cut it really well so I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off and yeah it cut it really well let me see if I could get this one off I'll show you guys ah, I hope you guys can see but it looks so nice so I'm happy about this I got five out of this one because it's so big so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the last set of stickers that I have to do. And that is the You're So Loved. And I'm most likely going to do that one off camera because, oops, I'm going to do that one off camera because I do have to go to work in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to try to get that one done and then I will talk to you guys later. I'm all done I made these stickers right here and then these ones so these are the last two that I had to make I only got five out of this one because I didn't use enough laminate on the sheet so a part of the laminate for this one got cut off but this one I have four and then this one I have five but that's okay because this is just gonna be for the orders that come in through Etsy or my website but that's all i'm gonna do today i gotta go ahead and get to work so i'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna be trying to sew my scrunchies or either the bookmarks one of the two but i'll see you guys later it is wednesday june 12th y'all i feel like the month or the year is going by just so fast because it's already june 12th it's already june 12th you guys it's crazy Y'all, when I tell you I was not planning on filming today, I mean, initially I was planning on filming, but I didn't tell you guys yesterday, but over the weekend, like, I've been dealing with my AC being out, like, it was, it went out Saturday, then it was out all day Sunday, and then it was out Monday as well, which is why I started filming yesterday, which was Tuesday, and in the morning it was perfectly fine up until, I want to say, maybe 1 p.m., it went out again and so since then it's like been so hot in here so I really did not want to get up this morning to film but I have to make these scrunchies and I didn't want to not film me making the scrunchies for you guys but right now like I have the ceiling fan on I have like a little mini fan on so if you guys hear like noise in the background that is why my air conditioning is out hopefully they come today to fix it because it is like a maintenance emergency but it is um it is eight o'clock and i don't think they're coming until midday because i know on monday they didn't come until like 
three o'clock on Monday to fix the air conditioning. So we have quite a ways to go with the heat, but I still want to get started on sewing, but I don't know. I don't really like, so the items that I have to sew are like new items that I haven't sewn before and I don't usually like to record myself sewing new items or new products just because y'all I make mistakes because I'm focused on the camera, on the camera angle and I'm usually not focused on what I'm doing so I usually like to sew um, and get that down first before I record because then by that time it's like second nature you know it's like I know what I'm doing I could do it without having to think about it so recording is not a big issue but when I'm having to like watch YouTube videos and learn how to do this and then worry about the camera angle is the sun in the camera it's kind of a lot so I don't know if I'm gonna be I don't know if I'm gonna record me sewing like the new bookmark like the heart bookmark and like the um, rectangular bookmark today um I might only sew the scrunchies because I only have six scrunchies to sew and it is eight o'clock but I also have to cut them out like I haven't cut them out yet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I have like one on the my cutting mat so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with cut that out and I'm gonna see how many I can get sewn today and yeah in the one hour that we have and hopefully I can get through this because I am so hot you guys like I just want to be stationary under a fan and not moving but I have to get this done because I want to try to have these items at my market this weekend because I want to see how they sell so yeah let's get right into it it is gonna be a total of six of them now my only issue is I don't think I have any thread <laughs> to match these and lately I've been like using the actual thread color that's close to these to close them up so I might be able to just use white to you know sew the whole thing but I don't know that I want to use white to actually close them up so I don't know I don't even know if I'll be able to finish closing them up today um, but if I can close them up today I'm gonna have to go to like Walmart to get the color thread to match them so yeah I keep forgetting about that you guys and I know there's like a youtuber that I watch that she uses like white thread to close up all of hers just because it's easier because she does like a ton of different scrunchies and I totally understand that sorry y'all i just got a message but yeah so she does a ton of different scrunchies so i know i learned to sew from her and she said like she uses just white like it's not noticeable but lately i've been trying to like use like a color close to the scrunchie color because i think that that actually looks a lot better i feel like though the more um the more scrunchies i start to make different colors different textures i might have to like do what she does and use white and just try to like make sure that when i close it it's as small as possible but for right now it's kind of manageable so i'm gonna try to use colors that are similar to the type of material that i'm using and i don't have any of those colors right now so i might not be able to finish them today but we're gonna see how far i can get also you guys i got this bobbin case thingamajig on amazon it has right now it comes with like 25 empty bobbins and the case and i have what's that seven eight 
bobbins in there right now i believe three of them are white and then the rest of them are different colors that i've used so far so i'm kind of building a collection i just thought this was so neat and so cute and it's a good way like keep all my bobbing together i got it on amazon i'll link it down below if anybody's interested in getting something like this but yeah so i'm thinking i'm gonna use white and i might just go ahead and use this one because i don't know if you guys can see i just go ahead and use this one because i want to use it up it's pretty low and then i'm gonna get the other one as well so hopefully i can use up this white thread and re thread it <laughs> this white bobbin and re bobbin it what's the, what's the correct phrase you guys re-thread it so now i just have to find my white thread and then i can get to sewing let's see what time it is okay it's 8 16 so i have about 45 minutes to see how much i can get done so let's go y'all it turns out that i might need white thread as well so um yeah i'm gonna have to stock up on thread because i can't keep going to walmart like this maybe i'll get like a pack off of amazon that has like different color threads in it so that way i'll be set for like certain amount certain types of colors maybe i'll do something like that I've done three already 
and I have 10 more minutes before I start work so I'm gonna try to do the fourth a fourth one and then I'm gonna stop because I have to start work at 9 so yeah that's what we're doing now Okay, bestie so i'm not all done i did four but i gotta go to work so i'm gonna be done for now i have two more to tube up and i'm gonna do those on my lunch and then this evening when i leave work i'll just go ahead and you um elastic band them up i don't know that i'll be able to close them up unless i get to walmart to buy the thread but i'm gonna go ahead and stop for now so that i could go ahead and sign on to work so i will talk to you guys later Good morning besties it is thursday june 13th and it is i believe eight o'clock in the morning getting another early start to the day this is actually the third and final day of this week's vlog i'm only planning on filming three days because i am planning on braiding my hair i've been trying to braid my hair for the longest and i want to braid it for the market that i have on saturday so I'm going to take tonight, Thursday night, and Friday night to see if I can get it done. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because my hair is going to be looking a mess for the rest of the week. But yeah, you guys, I just want to let you guys know that I finished-ish the scrunchies last night. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. So this is the blue one, the blue silk one. And I really, really love this one. Like, the quality of this fabric is literally top tier. Like, it feels so well structured and it just feels strong and sturdy. And I'm absolutely in love with this. I actually, that's like one of the reasons I want to get my hair done because I can't wait to start wearing my own scrunchies. Like, I'm in love with these scrunchies, they just look so good. And I also finished the other one as well. So, this is what this one looks like. And this one is really cute too. I really love them. So I've been trying for the longest to find like these satin fabric material with like different patterns on them. And I'm so happy that I was able to find them in Hobby Lobby. Well, not Hobby Lobby, in Joann's. So I'm hoping that they do good. Oh. <laughs> and you guys might hear my son in the background. He is in the other room. But yes back on topic i'm hoping that these scrunchies do really well at my markets because i really enjoy making them and if they do really well that means i can buy more and make more so yeah so i was able to make six um a half yard gets me six ish scrunchies and i did this one so i need you guys' opinion so this this size scrunchie is like my normal size let me see this is my normal size scrunchie that I always make. So this is how they look. But I decided to do my scrunchies like an inch bigger. And when I did, this is how it looks. Okay, so on camera, it doesn't look like much of a difference. But I promise you guys, it is a difference. So this one is the one that's, this one is the one that's bigger. And then this one is the one that's smaller. It's only smaller by like an inch. An inch, so an inch. It's smaller by an inch in its width, not its length. So that's why it looks like this. So I'm trying to see which one do you guys think looks better. Keeping in mind my price point, I priced these at $10. So I mean, this one looks bigger. And you know, someone might believe that that's more of a accurate you know price point for this size than this size but it's only like an inch different so let me know what you guys think which one do you guys like most this one or this one but i also went ahead last night and i made the bookmarks that i was telling you guys about so i made the heart one and i made the like rectangular one and you guys the rectangular one came out perfect i did it with like a um zigzag stitch and it came out really nice <laughs> the heart one however that's a whole nother story so the heart one actually did come out looking 
decent considering it's my very first one but if you guys sew and you've sewn around a curve it's not easy to do and that's the part that like i kind of messed up on sewing around the curve and then sewing like a point in the heart and i'm gonna show you in a second but for my first one i actually really like it i just have to keep practicing i know and i'm hoping that i'll be able to like sew around the curves a lot better so that's what i need to practice with but to show you i did these last night because i didn't want to do them on camera and mess them up so i wanted to get them right before i showed you guys so this is like the fabric bookmark Let's see and then along the sides i did like the zigzag stitch so this is how it looks i actually think it looks really good my only thing is looking at it now i do think it needs the lace um at the top like a little lace a little something at the top and i am not in love with the material it's kind of like meh to me and i don't feel like people will know what it is unless i tell them i don't know but it was really easy for me to make it it didn't take me any time at all i want to say it took me i don't know less than 10 minutes i want to say five minutes but less than 10 minutes so i won't be selling these for a lot i actually i don't i don't know how much i'll be pricing these at yet but it won't be a lot at all and so here is the heart one so do you guys see what i mean like look at look at this side so i feel like this side came out really well but this side is definitely like what what like what the heck what the heck is this and then also the do you guys see it's not like a really deep you know v but this is what the front looks like and then this is what the back looks like and then you would put the page in here and then it would just stick on your page either down or up for a little heart but the curve i need to work out the curve so i do have another one of this i'm gonna watch some more videos to see if anyone has any tips about sewing around the curves or maybe i just need to practice so i don't know i might just use this and do like a top stitch around it to practice to practice like keep going with the top stitch i might do that so that i don't waste the other material but i do like how it came out for my very first time it was really fun and really cute and i like the fact so the part that's like lopsided, I don't know if you guys could tell, but this is the first part that I did. So the part that's like not lopsided, like, I'm like, okay, that, that's progress, you know. I got, you know, this is my first one, this is my second one. So hopefully I can keep that momentum going and get better and better at sewing around the curves. And the last thing I have to show you guys, I got like three packs of um, garment bags. I saw another YouTuber that I watched, she um uses garment bags to bring her like t-shirts to markets and i thought that was such a genius idea you guys and i tell you in my last market like i had to recruit my mom's help and mostly what she was helping me with was the t-shirts because i fold them up so she had to like take them like unfold them put them on a rack and i brought like 33 t-shirts and she had to put them on the rack and then put them on my my shelf or put them on my stand my display stand so that took her a while and then not only did that took her a while but also when we're taking them down you know she folds them back up you know pretty nicely and neatly so that they're not like wrinkled so taking them down and then folding them up again to put them in the bin like that took a while so i just can't imagine having to do that without my mom's help because that alone is probably like 30 minutes right there if not more so i decided to get these garment bags so that i'm i'm gonna have to put all the shirts up on their racks and put them in here i haven't done that yet and i'm thinking about it now like i really should have done that already because i won't have any time to do it tonight or friday night because i'm gonna be trying to do my hair and the market is saturday so i don't know may have to <laughs> recruit my mom's help on this again just because i don't have any more time i was thinking maybe i could do it on my lunch but i do have to go somewhere my lunch as well and then also the thing with the scrunchies i haven't closed them up yet remember i was telling you guys last night that or yesterday that i don't have the 
thread to match these so i need to go to walmart on my lunch time to get the thread to match them and then after i leave work i'm gonna sew i'm gonna close them up which honestly should not take me long should probably take me about 30 minutes if that and uh, i want to do that and then go straight into getting started on my hair so i really don't have any time to do this today the only other time that I could do it is maybe Friday morning. Maybe I can get a Friday morning and do it. That's the only other time that I could do it. So maybe I'll do that because I'm I'm going to be doing my hair at night. So yeah, that's the only other time that I could do it or I could ask my mom for help. So yeah. So this is what they look like. It came three in a bag. I thought about getting pink ones, but uh, I don't know if I told you guys. I think I told you guys like I like pink, but I don't like pink overdone i don't think i like my office is white with hints of pink and like my bins that i carry to my markets are all pink and i don't know i feel like the pink um in this would have been obnoxious because <laughs> i don't know i like pink but i like like hints of pink you know so and i feel like um the gray is like a part of my theme a little bit like a few items in my office are gray so i feel like it fits in well so this is what they look like and it has like the little clear pocket so you can see what's in it. I don't know that I'll use that a lot, but that's nice. And then at the top, this is where like the hooks will come through. And I think it's width-wise, it's decent. It might be able to hold, I'm hoping it'll be able to hold 10. So I have three and I have like 30 shirts, 33 shirts. So I'm hoping it'll hold 10. It does not look like it will, if I'm being honest. But we'll see. We're going to see and even if it holds let's just say they only hold five the minimum let's just say that's all they hold which i think it should hold more but even if they only hold five i mean that will cut down on my time like so much because i could only i could just put up the 15 that i have in here and then as those sell out i'll just restock with what i have in my bins so even if these only hold 15 that's still like a huge help so it came with three in a pack and it's pretty long and i believe it can fold up i don't know i think it i thought it could i don't i don't know so it has a handle but i don't i don't know if it can fold up or not and i think i paid 20 dollars for three i don't know but i will link them down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing them or something similar but yeah, so that's what I have to help me to like make the process of setting up a little bit faster. And yeah. Oh yeah, you guys, that is everything that I had to talk to you guys about. That's all that I've been working on behind the scenes. Like I've been having like a lot of fun like designing, coming up with new design plans and editing. And I'm super happy for the fall season, even though it's only June it's only june but like i'm super excited anyways and i just want to let you guys know that i am working on things for autumn fall and winter <laughs> so yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here i don't know when i'm going to put those um clothing racks in the garment bags like i have no idea what i'm gonna do that i might insert a clip at the end of this video of it of how it looks like all packed up and let you guys know how many i was able to fit in there i don't know when that's gonna be so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoy this vlog i feel like it's gonna be like a really short vlog and if so i truly apologize i don't know why i totally forgot to film me doing stuff this week that was on me but nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and you guys know the drill please 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 do not forget to like this video also please leave a comment down below comment something nice and if you're not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button so that you could stay up to date whenever i drop new videos but all right you guys i will talk to you guys later and yeah peace out <laughs> bye
and come on here real quick because I had like, uh, let's see. Yeah, I had like 30 minutes before I had to start work. So I said, let me just get started on this. The sooner I start, the sooner I'll be done. And so I am very happy. These are, it's 10, it's nine in here. And I feel like I could fit 10. I didn't, do, I just didn't want to push it, but there's nine in here. So like this one, this is how thick it is. And I am happy. Y'all, I don't know what this strap is for. Is it to hold it like this? Maybe it's to hold it like this, but I'm going to see if I could like stretch it and put like 10 in there. I don't want to like burst it or anything like that, but I feel like I could hold one more in there. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. But this is nine in here. So if you guys are thinking about getting it, it hell it holds nine in each. Like if you're, if you want to push it, you might be able to get 10 out of it. But all right, you guys, I just wanted to stop in to show you guys how the bag looks and how much it holds. So I will see you guys next week at the market vlog. Bye.